Welcome to another demo at Burn Tables. And today I want to show you how quick and easy it is to draw a canopy tent uh, post holder. Uh, it could also hold down the ropes. It's a heavy object. And I'm going to draw it and show you how to cut it. First thing I want to do is open up a new drawing. And I'm going to zero that out after I select a rectangle. I'll do zero, zero for my origin. Enter six comma six uh, for my size it's actually a square and I can't see that so what we always have to do is go to view and zoom all and there it is I want to make a couple modifications to this I'm going to turn on my object snaps or O snaps uh, that will give me some fixed points as reference and my polars so that my lines are straight and then I'm going to select a circle and I want the circle to be in the center and it asks me down on the command line on the lower left to specify the center of the circle so I'm going to say 3 comma 3 and then it asks me to specify the radius and I'm going to say 0.75 for an inch and a half diameter circle and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to draw some reference lines and you see how that pulls over if you just pull past the line it'll go straight and enter to get rid of that other piece. Another line here. And enter to get rid of that extra piece. Now I'm going to need to trim those, so I'm going to explode this square using the dynamite. That'll allow me to work on individual parts of the drawing and select my trim function. And it says select cutting edges right down here in the command line. And this is going to be my cutting edge, so I'll enter that and then I'll trim this off and trim that off and I'm gonna also make a couple other trims so I'll select it ask me to select cutting edges these will be the cutting edges enter and we're gonna remove that and that enter the next thing I'm gonna do is put chamfers around the outside of this drawing and this allows you to select the length of your chamfer and I'm going to do 0.5 for both and it asks me now to select first line which I'll do and there it is all you have to do now is enter to keep the last command open and you can continue around okay and enter and now I'm going to make a change to my chamfer I'm going to actually make this one inch and select first line right there okay enter and select first line okay now I'm, I'm happy with the drawing that I have and I'm gonna export it to a DXF file and save that as tent post Holder one. Okay, so save that and I'm gonna go to my cam software and I'm gonna import that file, import the drawing, and there it is. It's one inch and drawing origin. You don't need to change anything there. There's the drawing. Looks good, it's all red, it doesn't have any white lines. White lines would indicate a break and you'd need to go back to your CAD software to fix that. I'm going to select the tool that I want and I have like everything I see here, curve width and what I want to do is just change the speed, the feed rate. Okay, um, then I'm going to come down and set up a, an operation, an outside offset default layer because I only have one layer. Uh, there's the tool that I had selected, the feed rate and arc in and arc out and I like that that green cut path means that you're ready to post it to the machine software so I'll do that save it open up the machine software normally you would first reset and then turn on your torch height control for the purpose of this demo I'm not cutting right now so I'm not going to turn on the torch height control um, but torch height control would normally be on you move your torch to the origin of your cut. Once it's there, you would 0x, 0y, and 0z. Check it 
one last time. Everything looks good. Load your G code. OK. And cycle start. You can see the torch come up. It'll move over to its first cut point and begin cutting. And you can see the code over on the left. And watch your cuts being made. And it's really, really simple and fast to do this. And this is a picture of the finished product cut on the burn tables water jet. And I hope you enjoyed this demo.